And I think it's very important for anybody who's under the age of even 60 or 70 to just all of us to know that um, that 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 the things we think are new are things that some of our ancestors were working on night and day a long time ago. Even when I lost my 430,000 followers on Instagram, I still have millions on Facebook, uh, million, you know, millions on it's because I have pages. They don't even know that I own. Uh, I have you know, over a million on YouTube, stuff like that. So I saw that as an opportunity to amplify that message. But the thing that's really important, and this is what we did in the B1 film, is I wanted to make sure that everybody who kind of came up with the ideas before us got full credit because I don't think it's a matter of who gets the credit. In fact, if somebody called me that, I'd say, no, that's that's wrong because there are so many great people who did great things uh, before us that we have to make sure we remember. You know, like, for example, I think it's absolutely criminal, absolutely criminal that all of our children don't know about Marcus Garvey by the age of five. And they learn about the slave master before they learn about people who liberated the slaves. I think we should all know about A.G. Gaston uh, in terms of wealth building. Uh, we should all know about the individuals who founded Black Wall Street, things like that, like O.W. Gurley, who created Black Wall Street. is far more important than, say, you know, an Oprah Winfrey or a Bob Johnson. Gurley he didn't create Black Wall Street because he had nothing better to do. Uh, he had all the good jobs offered to him because he was very qualified. He had all, lots of opportunities. But he created Black Wall Street because he wanted his people to have an opportunity to have a better life. Um, that's what he wanted. And so um, so he created the system. He didn't just cre- buy a bunch of land and invite a bunch of people out there. I mean, that was part of the process, right? He had to recruit people to join him out in Oklahoma where he bought this land that nobody wanted and turned it into something special. But when he got them out there, he had to sort of get them on the same page. He had to get them on the same code. And and in doing that, what he effectively had to do was he had to develop an economic system. He became the administrator of an entire an entire economy, and and as a result of that, uh, you didn't just have a space where people lived together. That's all nice, but but it was deeper than that. You had a space where people were able to uh, thrive together. 